Hi everyone, I'm so excited for this video. Today we are exploring how 2025's workplace technology is fundamentally changing how we work. These aren't just incremental changes we're seeing over time. They're complete transformations of what's possible in our professional lives. And it's really important we stay up to date with them. Now, before we dive into 2025's workplace revolution, if you will, let's take a quick journey back in time. In 1960, the average office had typewriters, rotary phones, and paper filing systems. It took 30 years for computers to become mainstream in the workplaces. 30 years! Then things started to accelerate. Email took just 10 years to transform communication. Smartphone? Five years to revolutionize mobile work. Cloud computing? Three years! Three years is all to change how we store and share data. But what's happening in 2025 is different. We're not just changing how we work, we're literally redefining what it means to work or what work means. And it's happening faster than ever before. In this video, we are going to go through the five technologies that are transforming our professional lives right now. Before we get into it, you know the drill. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to leave in the comments other types of videos you want to see and okay, now let's get into it. Number one is AI collaboration tools. And this shouldn't come as a surprise to any of you, but this is number one. We, we get into more unique ones as we go. The workplace AI revolution has reached a staggering 18.5 billion market value in 2025. And it's completely transformed how we approach creative and analytical work. Now, as one example of this that's really at the forefront would be, say, Anthropic's Claude 4, which can now process entirely quarterly reports in seconds while providing insights that would have previously taken teams and analysts days to compile. Or generating code can happen in, once again, seconds, milliseconds. The system's ability to understand context and nuance has become so sophisticated that it can adapt complex technical documents for different expertise levels while maintaining perfect accuracy. It's really wild when you think about it. Another way is Google's Gemini Ultra. It has been pushing the boundaries even further with processing speeds four times faster than in 2023. That's only two years ago. But what's truly remarkable is its ability to generate custom enterprise applications while simultaneously handling multimedia content creation. I mean, it's, it's wild when you think about it. Now let's get into the data. According to McKinsey's latest report, these advancements are saving companies an entire workday per employee per week. Time that's now being redirected towards innovation and strategic thinking. For anyone watching this, the key to staying ahead, in my opinion, is to start treating AI as a collaborator rather than just a tool. Use it in your day to day. Begin experimenting with AI assistance now. You can start with free versions of tools like Claude, Gemini, the list goes on, that focus on learning prompt engineering and AI workflow integration. It's really the professionals that will thrive are the ones that can effectively partner with AI to enhance their work, not trying to compete with it or even worse, avoid it. Number two is augmented reality workspaces. This is something I'm pretty excited about. The AI market has soared to $35 billion and tech has evolved far beyond just the simple visual overlays. I mean, we spoke in a recent video about Apple Vision Pro and how it's really changed how we can work. Now listen, maybe the tech isn't there to work, for some people anyways, to work daily with this headset on, but it's definitely going in the right direction. And if there's one thing we have seen, it's how quickly this tech is evolving. Another example is Meta's Workspace AR. They've taken a bit of a different approach, focusing on creating incredibly lifelike virtual environments with photorealistic, I mean, we've all seen the character, representations and spatial audio, which really can make remote work feel really natural, like you're already in the office. I really think, although we are not there quite yet, this technology is continuing to really improve and I think we will have this, we had this shift going back to office. I do think we will have this other shift now in 2025, 2026, where people start working remotely because this technology makes it more accessible too. There's more easy ways with the products I just listed, for example. Now, AR is intertwined in our daily lives more than we even realize. Many smartphones are already ha offering AR capabilities, things like AR measure or AR navigation tools. AR is a technology that you should really consider investing in learning more about, whether it be through using tools with AR or actually learning how to build it. 
either or, it's going to impact our workplace in 2025. Okay, number three is automated task management. This is the year of AI agents. It's coming, it's not going anywhere. And this is going to change kind of everything. I mean, when you think about AI agents and what they are capable of doing, it's really pretty incredible. Even things like once they start one task, complete it, then they can go on to the next task. It's going to be like you have your own personal assistant, whether it's for coding, writing, video editing, the list goes on. It's really incredible. And I think this is going to be the year that companies, we've already seen on the news so much, companies putting a lot of emphasis on AI agents. There's a major rush right now, a major race right now for who can come up with the best AI agent that actually can do its job. I mean, finish a task, start a new one. and Whatever company really nails that first, I think we're gonna hear a lot about and use a lot in our day-to-day -day lives. And it's something we need to be prepared for. Now, how do you be prepared for something like that that's gonna take over doing part of your job potentially? The best way is, as I mentioned earlier, this isn't here to replace you, but to support you. But what we will have to do is we're going to have to grow out of this mindset of, oh, I have two skills that are really valuable, I'm good. Gone are those days. Now what we need to be able to do is have multiple skills that we can build upon. So yes, maybe you're a coder and developer, but you also need to have some interpersonal skills. Maybe it's public speaking, educating, but gone are the days where we can just sit in our basements, code, hack along, listen to music, and call it a day. I know it's, trust me, as a developer, that, that just breaks my heart, but we need to develop further skills. And this brings me to number four, which is skill-based job matching. And this is essential for anyone who is looking for a job right now or maybe thinking about switching jobs. The traditional resume has become obsolete. Let's be honest here. AI-powered skill matching has transformed the hiring landscape. LinkedIn's 2025 report actually revealed that 68% of hiring now happens through sophisticated AI systems that analyze everything from practical work samples to team compatibility. These platforms use neural networks to process vast amounts of data, creating comprehensive skill profiles that go far beyond traditional qualifications. And the impact on hiring efficiency has become really incredible. Companies are reporting a 45% decrease in bad hires, while cutting their time to hire by even more than half, which is pretty impressive. But what's even more impressive is the 35% increase in job satisfaction among candidates placed through these systems. So what does this really mean though? What is this suggesting? Well, it suggests that AI might understand our career preferences better than we do, on paper anyways. And that's why it's important to continue building these different skills, continue networking. And yes, no job is going that we're talking about is going to become obsolete per se, but skills on their own might not be as valuable as they once were. We need to stack our skills. Keep on building skills. And speaking of building skills, number five is personalized learning integration. This is key. We need to be personalized in our learning paths. Everyone's so unique, everyone's so different. Now the workplace learning market actually has exploded recently, 500 billion globally. But what's truly fascinating is how we're approaching this skill development. Maybe you've seen this at your own employer's office. For example, Coursera's enterprise Neural Tutor has pioneered a system that analyzes your work patterns in real time, which creates personalized learning paths that adapt to your progress and learning style, which is pretty cool. The platform can predict your learning trajectory and optimize your training program for maximum retention and also practical application, which is huge. I feel like I came from an era even two or three years ago where it was all just static. You had what you had in front of you and you had to learn. That was kind of it. Now is so much more customized and I think that will really help play into point number four about really building upon multiple skills. These courses are going to start integrating multiple skills into them versus just, you know, here's how to code, but here's how to code and here's how to talk about it to your peers or educate about it. It's gonna start evolving into more skill-based learning. Now, for those watching who really wanna take advantage of this type of learning, start by adopting a continuous learning mindset. We talk about this in almost all of my videos. Complete different courses, stay curious, and don't put yourself in a box. If you're a coder, but you're interested in design, take a design course. If you're a designer, but you wanna build something on your own, take a coding course. I mean, the possibilities are like limitless. I was gonna say limited, but that's not the case, limitless. Now, the most fascinating aspect of all these technologies is how they're really reshaping the job market itself. 
The World Economic Forum's latest research shows that for every job automated by these tasks or these advances, 2.3 new positions are created. We're not just working differently, we're creating entirely new categories of work, which is really wild when you think about it. The future is already here, and it's more exciting than we could ever have imagined. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you found it very valuable and also inspiring. Going into 2025, staying curious, continuing to learn new skills, evolve, and being prepared for what's to come in the workplace this year, because it's gonna be a big year and it's gonna move fast. So I'm happy you watched this video. So you have a little bit of sense, a little bit of knowledge, if you will, further knowledge as to what to prepare for. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, leave in the comments what other topics you want me to cover. Maybe I'll do, you know what I'll do? I will put four topics in the comments and you vote on what one you wanna see next. All right, thank you everyone.